Hi everyone, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you here on my YouTube channel. Today we have a beautiful practice that will feel amazing for our back, shoulders, will create more space across the chest, will improve on the posture and at the end of this practice you'll feel lighter in your upper body and you'll be able to stand taller and with more confidence. So if you are ready, let's come together in a cross-legged seated position. Already now, try to sit up as tall as possible. Lengthen through the back. I know it takes a little bit effort, but try to roll the shoulders back and down. Lift up through the center of the chest and bring a little awareness into the center of your body as you hug the stomach in, navel in and up towards the spine, providing your body with a center of support and strength. Take another deep breath here, observe how you feel. hands onto the knees, on the inhale lift through the chest forward and up, exhale around into the back, chin to the chest, a few more times, inhale, exhale, follow your breathing, and come up to center inhale lift through the arms up on the exhale pull the elbows out to the sides and try to squeeze the shoulder blades together as you open through the chest nice inhale lift up a few more times exhale pull with intention squeezing the shoulder blades together and drawing the elbows slightly farther back and inhale three more times Beautiful, interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades nicely together, as close to one another as possible, again, feel all the space that you're creating across the collarbones. And from here, give yourself a self-hug, bring the hands as far around the shoulder blades as possible, slightly round into your back and create a little bit more space in between the shoulder blades. Let's repeat. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Now the other arm comes on top. You walk your fingers as far over the shoulder blades and as close to the spine as you can. Nicely round into your back. Nice, inhale, once again interlace the fingers and might be choose to fold forward. Inhale, lift up to sit it, reach through the arms up and a deep exhale, release. Perfect. Make your way into the tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees, hip distance apart. We'll continue with a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale as you melt the stomach down, lift through the chest, tailbone up. Exhale, round into your back. 
Inhale, keep the shoulders away from your ears. The neck is long. Exhale, actively push the floor away. Three more rounds here. Come back into the tabletop, try to shift a little bit more weight into your fingertips, hold your arms straight, sink the chest down and try to squeeze the shoulder blades together, pinching a little skin in between the shoulder blades and now push through the center of the chest up and spread the shoulder blades as wide apart as possible. Let's go a few more times. Squeeze together and spread apart for eight more. One. Actively push the floor away. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, last one, eight, amazing. From the tabletop position, keep your right hand next to you, where it was, bend into the elbow, reach the left arm forward, sink through the left shoulder down slightly, open through the chest to the right. You'll feel the stretch through the all sides of the shoulder, running to the chest, running through the back of your shoulder and lifts up. Let's change the side, the right arm is sliding forward, you're pulling the fingers back towards your feet and come up, keep going a few more times. There is a little intention, we are not just sinking down, we are pulling and we are trying to find the stretch. One more time on each side. Beautiful. Now the same intention, but we are moving the arm to the side and we're sinking through the chest down, pulling the hand, pulling through the fingers and opening into the opposite direction and coming up on the other side stretches more running through the front of the shoulder towards the chest change sides one more time amazing now let's take a puppy pose so walk your hands forward hands shoulder distance apart spread the fingers keep the hips above your knees try to create a straight line between your fingers and all the way up towards the hips if possible bring the forehead to the floor melting through the chest down If you feel you can go even deeper, bring the chin and chest down to the mat and hold. Inhale, lift up 
And let's come up into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, come up onto your feet. Might be walking the feet in place. And then hold the downward facing dog. Walk your hands towards your feet. Feet are comfortably hip distance apart. Fold forward and soften into the knees. On the inhale, lift halfway up with the chest open. Your arms are reaching forward. Your back is somewhere parallel with the floor. You're trying to melt the stomach down. Now arms through the sides and squeeze the shoulder blades hard together. Exhale, release. A few more times, inhale, lift through the chest forward and up, arms reach over the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, engage into your back. And release, four more times, keep on breathing. Focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together and opening through the chest up. Last two. Shift the weight a little bit more into the toes rather than remaining in the heels. And relax down. You might feel the warmth in the lower back in the upper back around the shoulder blades. Choose to interlace the fingers behind the back, relax into your neck, into your shoulders, into your head, and allow your arms to open as far over the head as you can. Feels good. Walk your hands back forward into downward facing dog. Bring your knees down. From here, step your right foot forward. Coming into the low kneeling lunge position, interlace the fingers and bring them behind your head. Here, try to sink through the hips down and lift through the chest up. On the exhale, shift slightly back, hug the stomach, tuck the tailbone, Tuck the chin to the chest, light pressure with your hands onto the back of the head. Repeat, inhale, sink through the hips down, open the chest up. Exhale, pull the stomach in. One more time.
Inhale, sink the hips down. Lift up through the arms. Exhale, release. Step the right foot back. Knees parallel. Place the hands on the hips. Preferably fingers face up. Otherwise, down, push the hips forward, reach back. And lift up. Let's change the sides. Step the left foot forward. Sink the hips down, fingers behind the head interlaced. Chest open wide, elbows out. Exhale, around the back, chin to chest. Inhale, forward and up. Three more times. through the arms up, hold it here just for a moment, exhale, release, step it back and let's take a kneeling back bend one more time. <laughs> Sit the hips to the heels. Take a few moments here. Breathing, observing, feeling. Sitting with the chest open, shoulders back and down. Let's reach forward. We'll find a gate pose. I'll take it on the right side with the left arm over the head. The chest is open. On the exhale, round into the back. Reach the left fingers forward and down. Inhale, open through the chest up. Two more times. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Around. Nice. And up. Let's change the sides. Left side, right arm over the head. Push the hips a little farther forward. Open through the chest. And exhale around into the back. I don't know which position I even prefer more. Both of them feel good with an open chest. And rounding into the back. Spreading the shoulder blades apart. One last time. Beautiful. Sit the hips down. At this point, grab hold of the strap. A towel, a scarf or a tie. If you're practicing outside, you don't have anything next to you. Take a child's pose, take another puppy pose. We'll do just one exercise here. Bring your hands on the strap. Start wide, especially if you're doing the flossing for the first time. Both arms straight, your back is straight. At the same time, circling backwards. And at the same time, both shoulders together, both arms together forward. If this is easy, you'll bring the arms closer together. And you'll find a place, the distance between the hands that feels good to you, that feels like you're really moving into the shoulders. Do it your own speed. Just try to circle at the same time, not like one shoulder at a time, but same time. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, our arms, our shoulders are supposed to move this way. But because of the lifestyle, you might find this challenging. One last time. Don't force it. Don't bring the arms too close together. Perfect. Now we'll go for another variation of a puppy pose. If you don't have blocks next to you, no problem. Take the puppy pose like we did before. I love this variation. It's a little more intense. Bring the blocks like this with a little space in between the blocks. Walk the knees farther back, hips on top of the knees, elbows in the center of the blocks. You can also do it leaning on the sofa. Put your elbows on the sofa, on the side of the bed. That will be also very nice. And sinking the chest down. Softly lift up. I know lifting up might be hard, but we made it. Love that stretch. Perfect. You can uh, circle through the shoulders a few times. I feel like finishing with one final pose. So let's come into the tabletop. Reach your left leg back. Reach your right arm forward. Find your balance here, either hold it here or try to bring your right hand towards the left foot. And as you press the foot into the hand, open through the chest to the right and open through the right shoulder up and to the side. So my chest is open to the right. We hold it here, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful shoulder to chest stretch. Let's try it on the other side. Right leg back, left arm forward. You can choose to hold it here or try to find the clasp, push and open. We are not going super deep, just for a little shoulder stretch. Perfect, release. And now let's take a child's pose. Knees closer together, wider apart. <sighs> If you already come up to sit it, once again, big circle through the shoulders, draw the shoulders back, slight engagement through the center, chest open up. Notice how you feel. Inhale, lift through the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. 
Thank you so much for choosing to step onto the mat and complete this practice with me. So if you enjoyed this class, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Take care of yourself. Much love. I cannot wait to see you back on the mat. Bye.